Building a team as a music artist. If you're a music artist right now and you feel alone in your journey and you feel like that's stunning your growth, then this video is going to be for you. Make sure that you stay into the end. I'm going to share with you a secret skill that is going to propel your music career to that next level that you really want to get to. Okay, so let's dive into it. So first of all, why do you feel like you need a team? The truth is you're probably in this place right now where you don't really know how to grow. You don't really know what that next step is. You're feeling stuck. And that's why you feel like you need a team, right? You feel like you need other people to be able to lean on to get to that next point, which is valid. We hear a lot of things about, you know, you need a team and who not how. There's actually a really good book called Who Not How, which I love that book and I love the concept. You need to be able to recognize why you're building a team and the reasons that you even want to go out and get a team. The problem is a lot of artists, you included, probably think you need a team when you're not at the time you really need a team. But the issue is if you don't understand the plan, the strategy, the direction that you're going in, and you want to go get a team to help you with that, that's a problem. You are the one driving the ship. You're the CEO. You're the founder. This is your thing that you're doing, right? It's your music. So if you don't know where you're going, and you don't understand like anything that you really need to get into the right direction, then just outsourcing to a team isn't gonna do anything for you. There's a really, really great book called The Wealthy Consultant by Taylor Welch. And what, what came with the book was like a free video course. It was really cool. So I was watching the videos and he had gotten asked, basically, how do you know when to delegate? And how do you know what to delegate? And essentially, this is exactly what he said. There's two points that he made. Number one was anything that is existential to the business, I want to understand it. Now, when he said, I want to understand it, that means that he doesn't necessarily have to be an expert or he doesn't have to necessarily be the one to do it, but he needs to understand it. The second point that he made, which was really, really important, was generalists are running the show and specialists are becoming employees. It used to be that if you were a specialist in something, like if you were an expert songwriter or just an expert beat maker or in business, if you were an expert at paid ads or if you were an expert at email marketing, you could run the show. What Taylor Welch is saying is nowadays the generalists, which is someone who at least knows everything, those are the people running the shows and they're grabbing specialists to put those people in there. So if you're an artist watching this and you're like, well, I'm just the songwriter, I'm just the vocalist, you're, you're pigeonholing yourself in becoming a specialist when really you should be looking at yourself to become a generalist in all areas of your business and your career and your music, right? So sharing a little bit about my experience in the 13 years I've been doing music, we're fucking going on 14 years now, it's crazy. And pretty much how I've been able to go from zero, which we all start at zero, to now having a six figure music business and now we're scaling it up to seven figures is, you know, when I started out in the beginning, I had my friends and I, I still have my friends, right? And we were all grinding on the music thing together. We were all artists or videographers or producers or whatever. And we were just built, we were putting the team together, right? And it was great, right? Like we all worked for free for each other, obviously. We did things for each other. We did favors for each other. And, and that's something that's really important, right? You should have that group of people who are like kind of your ride or die friends that they'll, they'll jump in and be those extra hands. Or, you know, my friends for me were, were still are, but giving me critiques on my music, right? Sharing ideas with what I can do better with my songs, things of that nature. And, and that was great. But the problem was we all had one major thing in common. None of us really knew how to grow our music careers so that we could use our music to pay bills, which is what we're, you know, right, what we're trying to do here is get our music to a level where we can at least put it out consistently, have a high quantity of high quality, and also like gain some traction. None of us knew how to do that. So when I was stuck and then I was around other people that were stuck, guess what that led me in? A, a cycle of stuck. And you might be experiencing that now as well. And I, I obviously didn't like throw my friends away. They're, they're, we're still friends. We're still working. But there was an element that I needed to add, which was I actually needed to step away from the team and not even step away as in like, screw you guys, I'm done. It was more of like, I need to break out of this mentality that I need a team and that I need this team right now. I need to step out and go improve my skills, right? So I did go for a period of time where we weren't working on music together. We weren't hanging out as much. We weren't spending the same amount of time and doing the same things together because I was like, well, it's not helping me and it's not helping us. So 
for me to help us, the team, I gotta go gather up some more information, skills, and put something together that's worthwhile for all of us to come together and do together, right? So I went and learned, oh my God, like tons of skills, like in the last seven years since I graduated from college, starting with the first most important skill, which is producing my own music. That's the biggest skill. And then it was like business skills, social media. I got into Gary V. He was my entrepreneurship gateway drug, as I like to say. So social media strategy, business strategy, email marketing, marketing, copywriting, paid advertising, content creation, sales, closing deals, closing high ticket deals, lead generation. Like, bro, I could literally just go on and on and on and on and on about all these different skills that I had to learn. And then I had, I had to also put them together to create some kind of thing with my music that was viable to be able to put money in my pocket. So when is it the right time to build a team? And, and the answer is when you actually have something to offer them. So here's the deal, when you're building a team, and I use this super lightly in the air quotes, when you're building a team, if you don't have anything to offer somebody, they're not gonna work with you. And you might be thinking, oh, you know, I got something to offer people. I got a vision to create for them, right? They're gonna be part of the comp. No, 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 stop it. <laughs> That's not what I meant. What I mean is if somebody is gonna spend their time, energy, and attention on you, you need to offer them something in return. And the easiest thing is money. You should pay people. You can pay people for their work and you can pay people their worth. Pay people for their work and pay people their worth. That's a bar right there. Because it's just, it's such an easy way to conceptualize building a team. Well, why don't I just pay you? The issue is if you're broke, then you're like, well, I gotta try to figure out how to pay, how to get people to work with me without paying them. I'm broke. Well, that's because you have a broke mindset, bro. You have a broke mindset. Go get money so that you can pay a team. Oh my God, what a crazy concept. Go do something to make money, not music so that I can do my music? Duh, yeah, bro, that's what I had to do. This year alone, this year, 2023, as, at the time of filming the video, 2023 is damn near over, but the time of filming this video is December 20th, and I was working three jobs at the beginning of the year, three. I had two side hustles and one job, and at the same time was building my music business. You know why I did that? Because I knew I needed money, not just to like grow, but to pay a team. If you have people you're working with, do not expect people to work for free. If they offer it to you though, like if they offer, like, yo, I wanna do this for you. If they come to you and they're like, I wanna work with you, I wanna work for free, and they don't have the sales convo with you, and they're not, like you should offer to pay people. But if they're like, down to work for free because they came to you because they want to support you, that's fair. You should still try to pay them, but that's totally fair. Like, that's fine. The problem that a lot of artists have is you're expecting them to work for free because you don't have money. It's like, well, bro, just because you're broke and can't pay your bills does not mean that you should put that on the people you're working with. So basic, bro. I don't fucking get it. Like, this is why, like, man, super side tangent, but like, this is why, like, I'm so mean and I'm so hard in these videos because it's like, this shit is so bad. It's like, it's getting so bad. It's like, bro, on some side tangent right now, like artists act like the music industry is so bad and it's so out to get them, which it is. But it's like, yeah, but you're also broke brokey and you have a broke mindset. Like being broke in the bank account is totally chill, bro. But if you're, you have a broke mindset and you're just a, you just act like, you just act like the world owes you shit because you're broke. It's like, what the fuck? And like so many, most artists are like that. And it's just like, it's weird. So when, in this conversation about building a team, it's like, bro, like, are you serious right now? Like you're gonna, you're gonna try to get people to work for free, but you don't want to pay them. And like, you want to actually get something going. It's like, bro, it's, it's so dumb. And then the artists who always, yeah, but you know, believe I, I'm really about to be the one. I'm, bro, it's like, shut the fuck up. Like you're not about to be the one. You're actually garbage. Your music's garbage. You're a garbage person. And like, nobody wants to work with you because everyone knows you're garbage. So get the fuck out of here. Like, ugh, it's so annoying. The thing is, if you wanna build that team, when do you know to build the team? When you actually have something to offer them. If you've already leveraged a brand, like for me personally, right? Like I now have a team, I have two people on my team. That's it. You don't need a lot of people. I have a friend of mine, my, my one of my friends who's built himself a seven figure business, meaning he's doing over $100,000 per month, not in music, in a different niche. He has a small team. He's growing his team now, but he was able to get to 80 to 100K a month with him and two people, that's it. Actually, it was him and one person. Now he's trying to grow the team a little bit more because he wants to go past the 100K a month mark. But you can get to a very, very, very high mark with not a lot of people, right? You, you don't need to go get a manager. You don't need to go get an agent. You don't need to go get all these other, no, you don't need all that. Like, you really don't. The thing that you need to do is first you need to skill stack. You need to stack a bunch of skills together like the ones I told you I stacked so that you can actually grow without needing a team. Then when you get the team, you understand all aspects. The most important skill you need right now 
is gonna be the one that's gonna solve the biggest issue for you, which is you don't know how to put out a high quantity of high quality music. If you're not able to put out a high quantity of high quality music, you have a problem. And I don't mean going to get beats off YouTube or buying them off beats, or, no, like that's not high quality. You need to own your process, right? You need to own the creativity. So part of the issue is that you're having trouble building a team and the first team that's gonna start with is the actual music creation team. And you're at a point right now where you're struggling with the producers and engineers you're working with. You're having trouble coordinating schedules. You're having trouble with creative differences. I actually just had a client. She joined my Rapid Fire Music Academy yesterday and she told me her main concern and the reason we were getting started was she was having creative differences with the producers she was working with. She would wanna do something with her song, then the producer would want something else and the, we, they would just end up going with what the producer wanted. And, she, and then her songs weren't even turning out the way she wanted to. She was also having trouble coordinating schedules. He was, I guess his wife or whatever was having a baby and he wasn't able to like meet up with her. And she was like, okay, well, she was fine with it. But I even admitted to her, I was like, yeah, you're probably being understanding because you're having a baby, but you still want to do your music. She was like, yeah, absolutely. I'm like, exactly. So that's why she joined because she wants to learn how to fully produce her own music. So if you want to learn how to fully produce your own music, I do have a free gift for you. You don't even need to go to a page to opt in or anything. You literally just have to click below. There's actually literally a free training on my YouTube channel. And you can just click below right here in the description to go find out and show you how to produce your own music in 90 days. Produce instrumentals, record pro vocals at home, mix and master in just 90 days, right? So click below, go watch that free video and uh, appreciate you for watching this and I'm gonna see you on the next one. Peace.